turning in for final approach. Whatever you say, stove. <laughs> Hi, I'm Andy Vega, aspiring comedian and bad journalist. Today, I'll be investigating a campus-wide conspiracy at Fordham Lincoln Center. You might think, oh, it's snowing, it's too cold. Well, while you're warm and comfy in your little home, I'm doing hard-hitting, powerful journalism. And we're going where people have never gone before, the bathrooms at Fordham LC. Every day, I go to school excited to learn, to better myself as a person, to become a productive member of society. To better do these things, I do something we should all do a bit more of. I hydrate like hell. And I don't know about you, but when I drink water, I piss urine. And personally, I like to do that in a bathroom. The men's bathroom. Every men's bathroom is unique. Their most defining feature, urinals. Urinals the wannabe toilets that aren't gonna take your shit. Urinal type can make or break a bathroom. There's the standard, the standard auto flush, the big boy, the piss bowl, the sports trough, but we don't talk about the sports trough, okay? Now bathrooms often have dividers between urinals because seeing each other's you know what's can be scary for fragile, sexually insecure men like me, like, like you I said, like you. Here's the thing, folks. I can deal with a lack of dividers. I can deal with a big boy whose auto flush splashes all over my torso. What I can't deal with is the nightmare that lies behind these doors in the seventh floor of Lowenstein. Warning, the following is not safe for work. Even if you're like on break or work from home or something, show them. I can't take it. I can't be objective anymore. F journalism. You. You're not a real urinal. You hear me? You're not real. You're not real. Get out. You're not real. These are not urinals. These aren't even toilets. At best, they're bad sinks, and at worst, they're ineffective water fountains that say, hey everyone, look at the thing I pee with. What's a guy gotta do to pee in something that isn't literally designed to see firsthand who is and isn't circumcised? Real urinals are designed so you can get all up in there. That way you can't tell where the urinal begins and my ends, as it should be. I can't stand by and do nothing. I'm going to the top straight to the most powerful man on campus. I'm here with Sonny Kim, the most powerful man on campus. Sonny, you've tried to change the loan scene bathrooms before. Can you tell us what happened? You know, I, I asked USG if they could put some paper dividers in between the urinals, but they said no. They said no? That's insane. Yep. And I tried to do it myself, too. But every night, public safety puts up these cardboard gates, as you can see. How are you supposed to get into the bathroom if there's cardboard blocking the door? That's the thing, Andy. You can't. I, I don't believe it. Watch. I can't do it. I believe things when I see them. I've seen and I believe. Thank you, Sonny. The student body has spoken. Sonny Kim has spoken. Now it's your turn, Fordham. Are you willing to step up? We're live in three, two. Sabrina, what are your thoughts on the secret couches in the Lowenstein women's bathroom? Does every women's bathroom need a couch? I mean, it's a bathroom, not a fucking therapist's office. Also, they're like really ugly and probably really cheap. 